I'm Ian Finance, I'm 34 years old, I'm a stand-up comic, and I love New York fucking city. My routine back in the day was, uh, you know, get up, uh, have a little quick one to ward the little shakies off, go up to the liquor store right by Lorimer Stop and get a little pint, drink that on the way to work, puke, do your job that you hate, leave early, go to the bar where the bartender gives you free drinks, come home, try to get it together to go to like an open mic or some fucking bar show, fail, and then be like, well, I gotta drink again to make this go away, you know? Uh, and that stunk, but now uh, I love waking up, cooking a nice breakfast, and then I ride my bike during the day, which keeps me like in shape. My insides are probably falling apart, but my outsides are okay. Here's a tip to save money as a comic. What you do is you only cook yourself breakfast in the morning, and then you don't eat until you go to the comedy club that feeds you for free at night. This is the cheapest way to live. I really like cooking. I find it like meditative. It's like a good way to start my day. Usually I got music playing, the news on. I'm talking to myself, kind of like I'm doing right now, but you guys are here. Growing up and like being around like my my friends and stuff, I would always say like darker, like weird things, and a lot of them would be like, dude, you can't say that. That's fucking what are you talking about? And then I get around comics and it's like immediately they're like, oh, this is what's going on, I'm feeling this way, this is happening. I'm like, yeah, this is my shit. We all fucking get along because we're all feeling this way and we can talk about it and not just go and act like it's not happening. Saying fucked up shit to each other is funny. It's funny to say the bad thing. It's funny to make like a really horrible dark joke about something and like laugh about it because obviously you don't mean it, you know? But around other people, you say stuff like that and they're like, how could you ever? And it's like, because I look at the world differently and don't take everything so seriously, you fucking jerk. Look, alcoholism is a lot like homosexuality. It's a choice. <laughs> That's a fun joke. That's a silly joke. I'm totally kidding around. Could you imagine? My God, relax. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it's a disease. I'm so <laughs> my comedy's not for everyone, and I get that. And my musical taste isn't for everyone. Uh, I love ska. Uh, the Bad Brains, mm -hmm. which have some ska reggae influences, uh, but also ska puts me in a really good mood. You know, do you guys know ska? Ska is like punk rock, but for virgins, you know? <laughs> I'm a little burrito. Oh, I want to show you this. Operation Ivy and George Carlin. I was given this by my father, David Tell. He introduced me to these people last night. He goes, oh, I'm his father. I go, this is my dad. They believe it. They go, that must have been interesting growing up. And I was like, yeah, you're an idiot. <laughs> Being on the road with Dave is great because it's truly like a master's class in comedy. Whenever people have taken me on the road, I always like to watch them and everything, but I'm just like in awe of like how quick and fast and incredible it is and to get to go on stage with him and like go back and forth is like what the fuck is my life i don't know it's just nice to be around sober people and uh i mean dave's the king the mount rushmore comics and to be buds with someone like that and just hang out it's great <laughs> A spiritual journey for me because uh, I have to be centered I have to be aware I have to be in the moment or else I die yeah. like 
literally, my life is on the line while I'm riding. Because I find myself, when I walk a lot, I'm like texting, looking down, I'm not in the moment. And riding, you just feel so in the moment, so alive. Like the other night, I'm going to a spot at the cellar. I'm on my bike, going over the bridge, the sun's setting, Lou Reed's walking the wild side is playing. I'm like, what is better than this? You know what I mean? It's just like so perfect. And uh, again, seeing that color of like, wow, I got so much color in my life. I got so much to be grateful for. At the cellar, it's just like so historic and inspiring and the, the people there just make it such a, a warm and comfortable feeling that it pushes everything to like the next level, you know. Really the Netflix itself? I've always wanted like a family kind of thing. And uh, I feel that way with a lot of comics, you know, you feel a kinship, you feel a family feel, but to go to a place where everyone knows your name and, you know, they get to know your order and you sit down and they like bring you a thing and like, this doesn't sound like a big deal, but that like means so much, you know, to get treated like a real person and to like have people care and to like pay you consistently and feed you, like, like this, there's nothing better than a meal. Like giving someone a meal is a form of caring. And when you make sure people are fed, it keeps people happy. How do you guys like your eggs? Oh, God, this town makes me want to smoke, man. That's right. Cigarettes. Anybody here smoke cigarettes? Anybody? No, just me and that cool motherfucker over there, that's it? I'm telling you, cigarettes, yo, you and me, we the last of the dying breed, dude. Literally, we're dying. It's killing us. It's no good. My cigarette routine well, I got a guy up the street and selling me on the cheap, which is great, but he doesn't do that to everyone, so I gotta give him a code word. What up, brother? Yo, what's up, man? What's going on? Not much. Just trying to get a pack of fun. Pack of fun? One of fun packs. All right. Yeah. I smoke way too much, and it's not good, but I don't drink, I don't do drugs, I don't fuck for fun anymore. I mean, I fuck for fun, but not. I don't use my body for pleasure in a lecherous way with the tricks and treats of the nighttime streets. And I know I shouldn't smoke. I'm smart. I got glasses. It's like, what the fuck? You know? It's tough, man. Dude, I love it. Oh my God. I don't know about you, but I love cigarettes. In the morning, I smoke a Marlboro Red shotgun blast in the chest. What's up? That's right. Yep. And then at night, I do a little Newport menthol mint chocolate chip dessert. <laughs> yeah! Delaware, bitch! <laughs> I just want people to go, hey, I like that guy. I wonder what he has to say. You know, like I want to build up a fan base enough where people come out to have an experience with me that uh, I can let them know whatever they're feeling is all right and they can get through it too. And I want them to laugh while they're doing it. You know, and I want to be able to do that. But in terms of like future plans, I can't think past my next two months of veils or else I'll lose my mind, you know? Because what's it worth looking like, if I start being like, where am I gonna be at when I'm 40? I'll fucking kill myself. Because then I'll be like, am I still gonna be here, you know? Living off free meals at night and an egg in the morning? You know, like, whatever. That's where I'm at now and it's okay. And I'm all right with it. Yeah, you guys have been great. My name's Dave Biden. Have a good night. Bye.